um, our turns is we have to get the girl to make sure that she winds up. So our one, two, three becomes one, two, three, so that she's twisting. So we need to get her to twist. One, two, three. Now, we're going to be leading with our right hand instead of our left hand. Now we're doing this on purpose because we want to show this hand over here to get her to step forward into this little basket step. So I'm going to get her to rock back, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to bring her forward. She's not going to want to do this. Okay, so I have to be tricky. So I have to get her going with this hand, and I have to show this hand way in front. See, she has to reach for it. Because she has to reach for it, and I keep leading her, because I want her to cross in front. Once we get here, I drop down so she can do the model break. Now I'm going to wind her up on 3-4, and I'm going to use my right hand to continue the turn. Then I have the right hand, so I'm going to do a face loop. I'm going to go from a face loop, I'm going to go from the shoulders. So ladies, if it goes from the shoulders, you have to keep your arms down. So then I'm going to start my turn, and then you can bring your arms back from one dance position. So let's do it from this end. So this is a tricky step to lead, and that's why we're trying to use this hand for the turn. One, two, three, that's the wind up. Five, six, seven. Now we're trying to send her, and then to bring her. See, now I'm going behind her. So right now, it's already pretty difficult for her to not continue straight. And I make her do the break here. Now once we get to this position, I drop and I point my left leg to the side. Now from here, I'm going to wind her up on 3-4. So my right hand is around her, and this is the one I'm going to lead with. So I'm going to let that unravel. I still have the right hand. I'm going to go for the loop. 